Hey, Android developers. If you're using Jetpack Compose to build native user interfaces in Android apps, you might be wondering how to use Compose with Maps in your app. We have an open source Maps Compose library on GitHub for the Maps SDK for Android. You can use it to simplify the process of adding a map to your Android app. The Maps Compose library makes it possible to add a map to your Android app with much less code than using the Maps SDK for Android alone. Let's take a look. You might be familiar with the dependency you use to install the Maps SDK for Android. To install the Maps Compose library, add one more dependency to your app-level build.gradle file alongside the usual dependency for the Maps SDK for Android. You'll get a notification at build time if there's a newer version available. After you've added this new dependency to your app, rebuild your project in Android Studio to sync the changes. As always, you need to create and add an API key to your code. I recommend protecting that API key with the Secrets Gradle plugin. See our video on Hide Your API Key in Android to learn more about that. Now you can start using the Google Map Composable function in your app. If you're new to Compose, Composable functions are essentially the UI building blocks for a Compose built application. Here's the simplest example of adding a map to your app. First, I set up two variables to specify the center coordinates for the map and the camera position that defines the initial zoom level. In this code snippet, the map occupies the maximum allowed space, and its camera is centered around Singapore. A camera position state object is created and provided in the camera position state argument to set the camera's position. There's actually a second composable function here. Marker. Calling the marker composable function in the content of the map adds a marker to the map. You can compare this example with the process of adding a map using views if you compare the compose based code with the views based code. See how compose requires much less code? Plus, you don't have to worry about the map's lifecycle anymore. You can set properties on the map by providing a map properties object or a map UI settings object for UI related properties. You can remember these states and mutate them to trigger recomposition on the map. In this code snippet, a switch, which is a composed material component, is added to the view to toggle zoom controls on the map. You can control the map's camera by using the camera position state object. This object can be used to observe changes to the map's camera position and can also be used to send camera update commands to the map. For example, this code snippet moves the map's camera to Sydney when the button is clicked. We're excited for you to try out the Maps Compose library and experience a faster way to add a map to your app. To get started, check out the accompanying sample app and related documentation in the GitHub repository. And if you're new to Jetpack Compose and would like to learn more, check out the Jetpack Compose documentation. Both of these are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.